A quiet northwest side neighborhood now a crime scene. Tonight, investigators looking into a home invasion in broad daylight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Jennifer Waddell. A man ended up in the hospital and a school went into lockdown after a home invasion on Pima County's northwest side. This all happened near Orange Grove and Shannon. Not on your side's Craig Smith is just back from that location and he's live in our newsroom now with more. Well, you know, deputies call the incident a home invasion that left a man with a leg wound, but they won't say how it happened because they feel that would give away a key detail of the investigation. Whatever happened threw a scare into that neighborhood. When deputies searched the house, they entered as if there might still be a threat lurking inside. They got a 911 call about 10.30 in the morning. A man hurt in an apparent home invasion. He went to the hospital. Deputies went on the hunt for whoever attacked him. For neighbors like Savannah Roberts, what happened is frightening and familiar. It's scary because, I mean, we just live right over there and we've had home invasions before. And just to think someone can just come into your home, like your privacy, and just do that, it's really nerve-wracking. Hendricks Elementary was bustling with children and parents as school dismissed for the day. But late morning, deputies asked the school to go on about an hour's lockdown until they decided there was no threat anymore. Amanda Hernandez knew there was trouble when she could not deliver her daughter's lunch. We were not allowed to go inside because of the lockdown. And I was concerned, so I called her teacher and I asked, you know, if everything was okay. And by then, within minutes, I got a text message from the school stating that there was something in the neighborhood going on and that um, everything was okay and under control. That lockdown ran from about 11 a.m. to about 12.10. Now, parents we talked to said they were pleased with how the school handled the situation. It was the first time Flowing Wells used a new system to send mass text messages to keep parents informed. Henrik School Administration says if parents did not get a text, they should check with the office to sign up for that system. All right, Craig, thank you.